What's up guys and welcome to the channel FWA4. In this video we just got this magnetic plate for the base to print on. So this is from 3D Print Monkey. It came in this sort of packaging here. It wasn't very well wrapped but it came for UPS and I only ordered it one day ago and it came the next day. But there isn't anything out for the Anycubit Photon M3 Max for a flexi plate to be able to print on. So I'm gonna to explain to you what this is. I'm just gonna quickly take it out of packaging so you can have a look. It's very strong and very durable. So this is the plate here. As you can see, it's very shiny and it will peel off this back in here. So this is where it will peel off. I don't know if you can see here, but this is the base and that is the magnetic bit. And then what will happen is that will peel off there and then your prints will print on to this piece so you can peel it off and then you can flex them like this and get them off easier. So you'll flex them like that and they'll come off easier because some of the things that I print, I want to print them flat and I don't want to print them with any supports, but I want to get them off easier. So the best thing to do is print them on this, flex them, they'll break off. And that is the theory. So we're going to go ahead and try that and make sure that that happens. But first of all, we need to install this magnetic plate onto there. So we're going to go and do that. Now with the front cover removed, all we need to do is take this plate off here. I've done quite a few prints on this printer and oh my God, it is just so amazing. I'm just going to show you here, as you can see, it's a little bit scratched up trying to get off some prints already. So what we need to do is clean this all up. So I'm going to use some isopropanol alcohol or something just to clean all this up nicely. So I'm going to go do that now. Uh, I'm just going to use a cloth, something that's not really sort of microfiber or something like that. I do have these little cloths here, which are really, really good. They're sort of like, they're almost like uh, kitchen roll sort of material, but it's really thick and they're really good for cleaning off. So I'm gonna get this all cleaned up. And then what we're gonna do is we're then going to install this onto the base here, which should be all pre-cut, ready to go, as you can see. It is, it's not cornered out very well, uh, but it will be enough to stick that on there uh, without having to worry about it. I don't think we need to worry about the edge. It should be absolutely fine because there is enough space for it to go on there. So the best thing for me is to put in some isopropanol or any alcohol based uh, product to clean the bed into this little spray bottle. So then it's easier for me to just go along and spray it on and you can spray it onto the cloth and then you can clean it off quite nicely. In fact, just by using that and that cleans it off really well. And always put some newspaper underneath just to make sure it catches anything, so you don't want to ruin your work surfaces. And what we're going to be doing is cleaning this up really nicely to make sure that there's nothing that can get underneath it. So when we stick it, it's going to stick on there really well and really strong. And we're not going to be worrying about it coming off while we're doing any prints whatsoever. So there we go. Now that it's all clean on here and I'm happy that that's like that, what I'm going to do is just use a dry cloth just to get off any excess moisture that might be on the top of the um, plate here. Just get that off there. And then what we're going to do now is we need to stick this magnetic base on top. So it's better to do it this way around. Have a little test fit to make sure you're happy with where it's going to go. It would be a lot easier if the corners were rounded off I guess uh, but they're not and I don't see that that's going to affect it in any way I think we're going to be absolutely fine with it like that the only thing I do worry about is if it's got a corner that it may get underneath there okay but what we might do we might just cut that corner in a moment when we're there because I think if we look at the base I think the plate itself is rounded on the edges as you can see, that is quite rounded on the edges as it is. So we should be okay. I'm gonna just, maybe just go with it like that. It should be fine. Well, what we're gonna do now, is we need to be careful here and make sure we do it right, is we're just gonna peel the backing off. It says it's 3M, so it's gonna be very strong stuff. 
But once this is on, it's gonna be on, it's not gonna come off. So we need to get this right first time. What I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to line the edge up on this side very carefully and then drop it down. I know that there's a small overhang on each side, which is fine. And then push that side down. And there's a small overhang on the other side. So as you can see, it's quite easy to install. We need to make sure that everything is pushed down really well. We're gonna push it down with our hand as much as possible to keep it in place. As I said, there isn't actually a, a, a base for the Anycubic Photon M3 Max at the moment. There isn't one bought out. So this is why I got it from 3D Print Monkey. I will leave a link to there uh, so you can go check them out. But on this side, it seems absolutely fine. On that side, it seems absolutely fine as well. So it's gone on there really well. So what we need to do is we will need to stick this to it. As you can see, it's very strong. So you're gonna to have to make sure it's lined up well. Once it's got that stick down, it's gonna just stay. But the good thing is, once it's in place, your builds are gonna be printed onto this. And then once they're printed onto this, you'll be able to just take this off, like so, and then you'll be able to flex your prints off. So there we go. What we're gonna do is we're gonna pop it back on there. Once it's back on there, we're gonna to need to remember to re-level the bed because if we don't do that, it is gonna crash through and break your screen. So please make sure you do that before you go ahead and start doing some prints. What I've decided to do is to, to basically smooth off the corner. So what I'm gonna do here, just gonna follow it round with a blade. You can use a standing knife if you like. I just wanna make these corners rounded. It just bothers me that it's square and the plate is round. But there you go, so it kind of like fits a little bit better now. Now with the round edges on here, when we go to pop it on, it does want to pull on really tight. So you need to get it right before you put it on. But as you can see, it goes on really well and it goes on very tight. Try and get it on straight if I can. But there you go. So that's pretty much what it should look like when it's in place. So what we're gonna do, as I said, we'll just pop it on here. We can do that now. Uh, that just slides on there. It's very heavy now as well. Heavier than it was before. Screw that down in place. Because we've already got the bed level. We just need to make sure um, it's level on here, but it's gonna to have to be changed even though it's already set up. And the reason being is because what we need to do is we need to undo these two four bolts here and then we're gonna to have to re-level the bed. So we're gonna get that set up ready to go and then we're gonna check that before we go and do the print. Now that we have this in place, as I said, you just need to undo these side sections here. You will need to get your Allen key and just put them in, in the sides here. There's four of these screws holding it in and you just need to loosen them enough until this base is pretty much as loose as anything. So it's like that. Because when it goes down into place, we wanna make sure that this is nice and level with that new uh, bottom on there. So the magnetic bottom. You need to go get your leveling paper, which is just here, which it comes with, and just pop that on there. And then we just need to switch over. I'll quickly do that now. And then once it's switched on, we just wait for the screen to load. And then what we need to do is re-level it again. Once we get it level, it will be absolutely fine. And as I said, it's not much difference to going in the vat anyway, and it will fit in there absolutely nicely. It will be not a problem at all. Right, so now we've got it on, we wanna go on here. We need to go to tools, and then what we need to do is move, and then we need to go to home. So if we go home, that should go all the way down and it should go into place where it needs to be. As I said, we need to make sure it's level again just because of this reason alone. And I'll show you why I've gone and bought this and the reason what happened to my prints and why you know this is gonna be happening now. There we go. 
it should just go back down. And there it is. So that's saying it's level there, so that's fine. So what we need to do, we just need to just push down very lightly on the base. We probably don't even need to push down that much. We just get it nice and tight on each corner and then just make sure that there's no gap around the edges. And then this is going to be the new level in position. Just tighten them up. Make sure it's nice and flat. It's heavy enough to probably not even have to worry about pushing on it. Just make sure it's down on all the corners and then just go around and tighten that up. And the same on this side. Let's go around and make sure that's tightened up. Make sure you can't see underneath it. It's definitely flat because I can see it's flat. Tighten that nicely. Just go around. Make sure all the corners are done. There. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Once you've leveled this, you shouldn't have to level it again. It should be absolutely fine. And then from now on, all we should need to do is just take off the magnetic plate and then that should be as simple as that. Right, so that's now level. So what we need to do, we need to go up. So we'll go 10, we'll go probably three or four. And then that will just come up out of the way. And then we can take our leveling paper out, just like so. There you go. So we are level and ready to print. And then, as I said, if we go up again, up a few times I'll show you what we mean by it coming off so as you can imagine say a print is just finished and it's all ready to go what we can do then is we can grab this part of it and then we can just remove the magnetic strip as you can see there so that's what we'll be doing and then that will come off I would suggest cleaning up this plate was something before you first print because we don't know what's been put on there um, but we're ready to go so all we need to do now is we just need to install the vat fill it full of resin get the prints on the move so just pop that in there right now that we have everything set up ready to go all we need to do we've put our files on and we've sliced them we just need to pop our resin in so we're going to do that now I just hope I've got enough resin to make these stands. I should have enough, I hope. They're not that big, so they should be fine. But yeah, I should have enough resin to do that. Just wait for that to go down and fill the vat. We're only going to be printing two of these, so they're not that bad. It says it's going to be about an hour and 35. But as you can see here, obviously there it's broken. And like I said, it's very warped underneath because we couldn't do them flat because we had to put them on so they were raised. I'm just hoping there's enough resin in there. It is not looking like we have a lot of resin. And I want to do two of these. So I want to make sure I've got enough to do the whole thing. It should be fine. It might be worth me just scaling it down and doing one. But we'll see. I think it's covering the bottom enough. And there should be enough resin in there to do it. It's quite a big vat to fill, you see. That's the issue with these. There you go, so once it's all filled, you need to go uh, back and then you will need to click on your print. So if we go back here and go to print and then it will show you on the display all the prints that you can do. And I've got my ghosts on there and all the other little things that I've been printing so far. And then it will show this one and then it shows you the two stands that are in there. And as I said, even though they're quite small and quite thin stands, there should be enough resin in here to be able to do them all. So we're going to go ahead and just go with it and see how we do. Which we should be fine. 
we should definitely have enough in there to be able to make these as I said they are quite thin and they're not going to use or make or you have to take up too much resin when making it so we're going to go like that so once you're happy with it and you want to do the print all you need to do here is press play and what it will do is it will lower itself down and as long as your levels are fine and everything like that it should just go down we just need to make sure it doesn't catch on anything because obviously it's now got a little bit of a base i can see already it's not going to be an issue whatsoever it will just need to find its positioning which it will do in a moment it won't take too long it should sit down inside the resin it will lift up it should find its home just that there you go and as you can see here it's going to do the bottom layers and then from there it's going to build up so we're going to leave it to do that and then we'll come back when it's finished and we'll check it out right guys i've just finished doing the print and i've cleaned them up and they completely failed so i just wanted to show you an example of a failure so came down and found them like this so they're completely flat and they haven't worked what happens is if you look at the bottom of this it's so shiny because where it was stuck and built to the bed this bed is just too shiny for anything to stick to so i think what we need to do i think we're gonna have to rough this up um, i've checked on here and this is really level the way you can check is with a ruler so what you would want to do is get a long ruler or you want to get something that's really um i've got one here but i don't know how good it is and you want to put it on there and then what you want to do is shine a light the other side say just like the light from your phone or something and if the light shines through then you will see but i've tried that and it's absolutely level as anything so it doesn't need that i just think it's not sticking what i'm going to do is i'm going to amp up the bed adhesion as well so i'm going to change the settings on that but as you can see it's so shiny so so shiny i think what happened is just there's absolutely no grit or stick to this whatsoever so i'm going to rough it up so to do that we want to keep it flat so i've taken off the metal base here as you can see and we need to keep it nice and flat we want to go over with uh some sandpaper so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you always make sure you use a block or something flat because you don't want to have any high spots and first of all i would go over in a 180 grit sandpaper so this is a 180 grit sandpaper we're going to go do that and i'll show you that sped up real quick You can see I've gone over with the 180 grit and it's put some nice scratches in there. So these are nice fine scratches. It doesn't feel so smooth anymore. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to amp it up and go over it with an 80 grit. It's quite a hard grit to go over it with, but I'm going to go over it with that. And then we're going to smooth it down with this one afterwards, just so we've got some texture for it to stick to. But remember, you have to do it flat. So make sure you use a block or something so that you're making sure that you don't get any low spots or high spots when sanding this down. So we're going to go the 80, then the 180. Right, there you go, guys. That's now finished. As you can see, there are definitely some nice deep scratches in there now. And it feels a lot rougher so which is good because it just feels like there was a little bit more of something to stick to that the next thing we will need to do is we will need to get some cloth and we will need to a bit of isopropanol alcohol just to go around the edges and clean up the back piece um back piece of the piece here so what you want to do is just want to make sure obviously you've got your scratched up end on the top so i'm going to just pop that back on you do need to be careful lining it up because it is very very strong magnet and once it's on it is on and it does not want to come off there you go so once you get it in place and you're happy with where it's got to go i'm going to move it over a little bit then we're going to attach it back on again and then we're going to run that print one more time right now that we are ready to pop this back on we'll just put this back in place you don't need to worry about cleaning up the top too much because it's going to be dipped back in again. Just screw this down nice and tight. 
so you know it's in place. And the best thing to do is to go onto here, you want to go to uh, your tools and then you want to move. And if you ask it to go home, what it will do is it will just go back down again so that it's in position to where it needs to be, which is really good because obviously it's going to get covered in resin and it's going to be ready. So I recommend dipping it in resin just before you do your print. So we're going to let it home in. It's just going to go back down. There we go. It should dip itself in. There. It'll go down. And then it should stop at home, which it has. So there you go. So it's now ready to print. So what we can do is we can now lift it up. And then what that will do is it will have a nice layer of resin underneath ready to do your next print. So as you can see, it will come up now. And it does get very messy underneath there. But I'm going to top it up with a little bit more resin. And I'm going to go back. I'm going to go onto my print. And I'm going to start that print again because it came out absolutely perfect. And I'm gonna go from there. I'm gonna clean up the stands and then we're gonna come back and then we're gonna do a test fit before we cure them. One. Right guys, I've just done the stands again and I'm gonna show you how I got them to come out perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly take this off here. You've gotta be careful because it is gonna drip. And pop that down here. As you can see, they're stuck on the bed really well now really really good and they've come out perfect they're just exactly how i wanted them to be i had to just adjust a few settings on the printer itself so you can adjust the settings on here or you can adjust the settings in the program itself and i'll show you how i did that i'll take you over to the computer right now and we'll have a look and i'll show you how i did that As I said, with this magnetic base, it's perfect because we should be able to take this off and then if we move, we leave that lying down there and we move this bit out of the way, we should be able to just snap them off. As you can see, it's come off there. I should be able to do it on the both sides. I mean, it's stuck on really well. And it's now off there as well. So because each side is now off, all I'm gonna do is gonna get the scraper underneath there and we'll be able to lift them away nicely, which is exactly what these bases are designed to do. I've just gone and got this one off, but I'm gonna just show you how. So basically keep it flat and keep that underneath and then follow it down just be careful not to break it you want to just follow it down nicely just like that and there you go and now i have perfect stands the reason they weren't printing before is because this bit here wasn't flat on the base and i'll show you what i mean when i go onto the uh, program and show you that but that wasn't flat, so it is now perfectly flat. So you want to keep these, we need to wash these, keep these on a nice flat surface when curing them. I'll probably just leave them in the window to cure for a little bit and then I'll cure them in the curer uh, afterwards. But there you go, guys. This is absolutely perfect. This magnetic base works a treat, I'll tell you that now. What I'm gonna do here, I've already cleaned one of these up. I'm just gonna just get some kitchen roll. You're probably best to have some kitchen roll handy just to clean off all your utensils when doing this and it's a good way of just wiping this off attaching this back onto the base and then just going again for another print which is what i'm going to do in a moment but once you've got it off so i'm just going to slide that and just dip it in this is just lukewarm water and i'm just going to pop it in this jug and you will need to dispose of this contaminated water somewhere safe so i'm just rubbing it over just with gloves if you use your hands as i've said before previously it isn't good if you 
just use your hands. It's not good at all. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And I'm just kind of rubbing over all the areas where the resin's built up. You don't need to go crazy with it, but you just need to wash off all of the excess resin that's on there. And that is what we are doing right now. So as you can see here, just done that now, that is lovely and cleaned up. So we're just gonna leave that to dry off. I'm gonna put down a flat surface over here with the other one. And then what we're gonna do is we're just going to take some of this old cloth. We're gonna wipe off this base until it's nice and clean. Having it on newspaper is always a good thing as well. So I've got plenty of newspaper. We get free newspaper all the time. And it's always good uh, to use one of those. And there's a little bit of excess resin stuck here. You just want to make sure you get all those little bits off to keep it nice and flat. Before I do my prints, what I do is I generally dip the base in the resin as well, or brush resin over the base so it's sort of stuck in between, which is always a good way of doing it. And as you can see, there is a little bit of resin residue just on the magnet itself. Make sure you get all that off. I'm gonna to have to go around and give that a nice clean up and then we'll stick this back onto there and we'll go again for the next round. Right guys, before I cure these, what I wanna do is just show you. So I made two types. There's one for the CGC cards and there's one for the PSA graded cards. So the PSA one should be this back one. So what it is, is it's a little bit thinner uh, so it will hold the card and the one in the front here should be CGC so a little bit, a bit thicker so they might seem a little bit loose in there but when they have had the uh, curing and once they've got paint inside there they do thicken up a nice amount and then that sits in really really well but um, yeah let's just see if that one fits in there so that one's quite loose in there but this one is definitely the PSA one. So once the paint's in there, they fit in really, really nicely. But as you can see, that's how they go. And they're really, really cool. So this is the CGC one. And then we're gonna go cure them up and get them ready to go.